Grüß euch, servus miteinander. That's Bavarian dialect, by the way, but I'm not uh, holding this video in Bavarian dialect, but in English with an Bavarian accent. And this video is brought to you by the Ortolino Company. What is the Ortolino Company? Well, we sell Japanese oil prints in weekly online auctions. And my name is Dieter Ventura. I am the owner and manager of the Ortolino Company. Well, today's video is about uh, a strange artist. Uh, you've seen this, this woodblock print. It really looks weird. And his name is Kyose Kawanabe. He was born in 1835 and died in 1899. He was actually a pupil of the great master Kuniyoshi Utagawa, but he had also learned painting, very fine traditional painting at the Kano Painting School. Well, Kyuse Kawanabe is seen as one of the artists of the generation in transformation from the old Japan of the Edo period, which ended in 1868, to the new Japan of the Meiji period. What was the Meiji period? The Meiji period was the great jump forward by Japan after 1868 and already a few years before to a modern industrialized nation. And that happened very, very fast. And of course, um, that put a huge tension and stress and unrest also on the way how art was made during this period of transformation. Kyuse Kawanabe was an eccentric guy. Everything he did was exaggerated. Famous all his drinking binges with his fellow artists, Konichika Toyohara and Kyohika Kobayashi. Well, his strange, his style of paintings and his woodblock prints is, has no relations to any known other artists or any other art styles. Um, historians often use the word, the comic genius or bizarre, fantastic, humorous, satire, caricature-like. Uh, but overall, it's weird and it's difficult to understand for us today, especially for Westerners, but even if you are uh, capable of reading old Japanese characters um, and old Japanese, uh, you will hardly understand, well, these caricature satires, these allusions today anymore. By the way, Kyuza Kawanabe uh, could not only make woodblock prints like this, but he could also paint in the finest traditional style of the 18th century. And in August of 2000, a painting by him on a two-fold uh, screen was hammered at incredible 400,000 British pounds at Christie's in London. And this was the highest price ever paid for a painting of the Meiji era. Yeah, and this was by Kyose Kawanabe, the guy who made this print. Fortunately, his woodblock prints are less expensive. It's a small market, a niche market, but they are pretty well in demand by collectors, maybe by some guys of you, hard to believe, but it's a fact, but less expensive. You don't have to spend 400,000 British pounds, but um, well, starting at 50, 100, 200 dollars, you can acquire an original woodblock print by this artist, for instance, in our weekly online auctions, and of course, I would be pleased, guys, to see you there. And yeah, this is it about Kyosai Kawanabe, strange, weird artist. And uh, Ottolino um, tries to publish a new video at least every week. And if you have any proposals, send an email to me. 
And yeah, I may talk about this subject, but it has to be related about Japanese prints. So much for today. Have a nice week and don't forget to bid in our auctions. Bye.